This is Sean Payton, head coach of the New Orleans Saints. What's with this Saints happy cast? This has to be the worst Saints podcast in the world. Ralph can't say anyone's name right. Andrew doesn't know football. Everyone has a hard time listening to Dave. And is Kevin even there tonight? The audio with this podcast, my God, the audio, it's its painful. Welcome in, everybody, to the Saints Happy Hour YouTube channel. Me and Andrew are trying something different where we post YouTube-only content. Thanks for finding us. Subscribe. Uh, find the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, Andrew, today I want to talk about something that you brought up in the, the big show, but I want to dive into it a little bit more. I want people to stop criticizing Drew Brees. If people can move on from Deshaun Jackson and other people that have said hurtful, offensive things, whatever, Drew Brees deserves the same pass. I want people to move on from criticizing him. That poor man couldn't post anything on the 4th of July because people just keep coming at him. Let that man live in peace. He said he was sorry. He's doing the best he can. I'm tired of people just destroying Drew Brees like he is the only person that doesn't get a pass for saying something that people didn't like or found hurtful. Yeah, listen, I think a lot of people think that he didn't he didn't do anything wrong. There's there's a big percentage of people out there that are like Drew did nothing wrong. And I I respectfully I disagree with you. You're allowed to have your opinion. I have mine. I, I think he did make a mistake, but he apologized for it. And when I read his Instagram posts and I see him getting heat from both sides, he's being called a racist on one side. And on the other, it's how could you turn your back on the flag? And he, he's posting pictures of him fishing with his kids, Ralph. He's fishing with his kids, <laughs> with his family, and he's getting these comments. And it's just like, people, stop it. Stop it. Like, do you forget who we're talking about here? Like, maybe the guy made a mistake, but. He's not a racist. He's not. No one thinks that. It's not true. So I, I just – and it, he didn't turn his back on the flag. He still loves America. He still loves the military. Just stop it, people. He's trying to do right. He made a mistake. He apologized. Some of you don't think he made a mistake, whatever. But the point here is I'm tired of it. I'm tired of us railing on Drew Brees. You know why I'm tired of it, Ralph? forget the on the field stuff let's not even talk about his greatness there let's talk about five million dollars five million dollars donated donated during the coronavirus to the city of new orleans everything that he did during katrina it doesn't matter if you're jewish you're white you're black you're asian anyone that lives in new orleans has benefited in some way from drew Brees' gratitude just talk about his off the field stuff and name me one person in the entire city that has done more. Name one. Maybe Tom Benson and, and Gail Benson. Maybe. But that's it. The dude has done so much. So let's let's take this all in totality and think about what he's done for the community. It's time to move on. It's time to give him a break. And I'm tired, man. I'm tired of the criticism that he's getting because he's a good dude. And I think deep down we all know that. And here's the thing. I think people still bash Breeze, and they're going to do it all year probably because it generates clicks. It generates notice. And we and I get that. Look, we're doing this video. We want you to watch. We want you to follow the podcast. But I think for Drew, he probably needs to like the first whatever press conference they have be like, listen, this is it. I said what I said. I apologize. I meant it. I'm 100% supporting Black Lives Matter. I'm going to do things during the year to show you that I'm committed. But this is this is it. This is fucking – I'm done. I'm not answering any more questions. I'm not dealing with it. And that's the best way to go about it. And all I'm saying is the double standard is annoying as hell. If everybody else gets a chance to move on and show that they're – sorry and forgiven so does drew Brees. but it's social media people aren't going to do it but that's that's my final word i'm t i'm just i'm t i'm tired yeah. of it and look look he apologized he said he was sorry so if you were offended by what he said he's apologized he's trying to make it right if you're offended that he apologized <laughs> i mean what's wrong with you like just think about it he up he hurt people's feelings 
and and he's sorry. He feels bad that he made his teammates cry and, and and that they were so angry at him. So like, just be okay with the fact that he feels bad and that he's apologizing. He has not turned his back on America. The dude loves the military. He loves the flag. It's it's gonna be okay. He's not a racist. Like both sides of like. We just need to cut the man a break. It's Drew Brees. Let's give him a little benefit of the doubt. His heart's in the right place. Let, and let's just be okay with whether you think he made a mistake or not. It's time to move on and leave the guy alone and let the guy go fishing with his kids in peace and not <laughs> crush him every time you get an opportunity. It's starting to get a little pathetic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this. Leave Drew Brees alone. See you next time.